Hey, welcome back. My name's Lucy, and if you've been following along, you know that I recently helped build a teardrop trailer out of foam. And so if you're interested in making a foamy, you really want to stick around and watch this. So I realized when I tried painting a piece of foam with spray paint that it started to eat the foam. So that gave me an idea that I better trial everything before using it, whether it was a sealant, an adhesive, or a paint. So anyway, I'm going to recreate some of these experiments and then we can find out what adhesive is going to be best for your foamy. And we're off. So first I cut all the foam pieces into three inch by three inch squares so that I would have the most consistent results. All right, so I'm setting up my test. I'm gonna test Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue Clear, Wood Glue, and Foam Fusion. I'm gonna be testing a butt joint with no tape because sometimes when you're building a foamy, it is difficult to get any angle to be able to clamp. I'm going to test a butt joint with tape and I'm using tape as a clamp here. And yes, stronger clamps would probably um, be more successful, but when you're working with foam, tape is pretty much as good as you're gonna get. Um, it's foam just dense if you try to use a strong uh, clamp. So, uh, and then I'm going to put two pieces on top of each other, and then I'm going to have two that are side to side, kind of an edge joint, and then I'm going to put a piece of birch on top of the foam without any clamps to replicate like how we had to do our countertop and stuff. So I let everything sit for 48 hours, and um, again, these are just some of the spray painted pieces, so you can see how uh, they kind of ate away at it. Okay, so this is the wood glue with no tape, okay? So it doesn't expand, it makes a nice seal. And let's see, and it broke kind of right at the glue and it broke fairly easily. So wouldn't want that for my trailer. Wood glue with tape. Okay, again, made a nice, nice seal and breaks really easily. Again, wouldn't want that. Okay, so let's Look at the Gorilla Glue original. Well, first of all, this is without the tape. Hopefully you can see just how much this has bubbled up. Yeah, so there, it's not making a nice seal. We're off a solid. Let me grab my shims and see. Let's see what I can get in here. Oh yeah, we have over a 16th of an inch gap here. So no matter how well it holds, we definitely wouldn't want this. So still breaks fairly easily. All right, Gorilla Glue with tape. So now Gorilla Glue is supposed to be clamped, and the reason why I only use tape as a clamp is because realistically, that's all you're gonna be able to do with your foamy anyway. So here you can see that it definitely squished in better. It's sealed everywhere, but we have so much sticking out. Okay, that's just rather hideous. So let's see how this breaks. Much better with the tape. Still broke fairly easily, but mostly at the foam. The, the adhesive itself kind of held. All right, let's look at the clear Gorilla Glue. This is one that I didn't trial before on the other foamy, um, and it would be a little bit expensive because it comes in kind of small containers, but the clear Gorilla Glue does not expand. So we're gonna learn quickly that foam fusion is pretty awesome, but if this holds well, this might be an option if that's all you can get to is, you know, whatever you can pick up at Home Depot. So let's see, this is with no tape. Again, a really nice seal. Okay, no issues there. And we'll see. Actually, that held better than the original. Okay, and it broke more at the foam. So that actually was kind of a surprising find. All right, so let's check out the Gorilla Glue Clear with tape. Again, a very nice seal. No issues there, and let's break it. So that one kind of snapped right at the seam, but it was okay. All right, so let's check out foam fusion. So this was kind of a last minute thing that we discovered was this foam fusion. And it was amazing to work with because it just kind of feels like Elmer's glue. So it cleaned up really easily and it, it dries crystal clear. So this is without tape, okay. And let's see how this breaks. Okay, so that really, it, you can kind of see that it kind of welds the foam together a little bit more. So that took a lot more force to break off. Okay, that was without the tape. Let's try the one with the tape. Okay, so again, we see a really nice seal, no expansion. 
Okay, and let's try to break it. Okay, so that clearly broke just at the foam. The adhesive is totally, totally held. The foam was the weak point. All right, so that's pretty cool. So foam fusion totally wins that battle. Now, let's see the ones that we glued together this way. Let's see if we can even pry them apart. So let's start with what was the weakest was the wood glue. Okay, so the wood glue still came apart at the seam. So definitely wood glue, and it's actually still wet on the inside after 48 hours. So definitely wood glue is totally out. All right, the Gorilla Glue original, again, expanded a bunch. So this stuff's such a mess to work with. Plus with both of the Gorilla Glues, you have to wet one side of it. So um, the Foam Fusion, you have to do that, which is really nice. And I'm not affiliated with any of these products. So again, you can just see the mess coming out here. But let's see if we can break this apart. Okay, I'd have to say the hole is definitely plenty sufficient. Okay, so yeah, I'm just breaking the foam. So definitely the Gorilla Glue is plenty strong. All right, the Foam Fusion. Again, this one's a really nice tight seal, dries clear, so it looks really nice, easy to work with. Okay. <laughs> Again, because this kind of welds into the foam, really makes the two surfaces together. There's, there's no prying it apart. I'm really not even breaking the foam because it's so, it's kind of like one piece now. Okay. All right, and let's look at the Gorilla Glue Clear. So this stuff's way more user-friendly than the regular Gorilla Glue, so it doesn't expand and it dries clear. Um, let's see if we can, so it's plenty strong for this too. Oh, it's coming apart a little bit easier, but yeah, nonetheless, it's, it's definitely pretty good. All right, now with working with this foam, it was pretty obvious that um, the, the foam that you buy like at Home Depot, the one inch foam has the scores already in it so that you could break it easily to use it for insulation, which I'm sure is wonderful for that, but it's terrible for building a trailer. So if I had had these pieces of foam before they'd been CNC cut, what I would have liked to have done is cut out that those scored areas and then re-glue it together once I figured out that foam fusion is pretty cool. Um, that would have made for a much more stable wall. So I highly recommend doing that. But I thought I'd glue up some this direction to see what we've got. So I did just the Gorilla Glue Clear Original and Foam Fusion for this. We'll get the tape off here. And just see how strong it is being glued that direction. All right, so again, Gorilla Glue Original did hold together better with the tape, but it's, uh, again, really messy. All right, and it broke at the foam, so definitely totally strong enough. All right, Gorilla Glue Clear. So this stuff, again, is better to work with, but I was a little worried about its strength. And that broke at the foam too, so I think that that would have been okay, a little bit of it's at the adhesive part. So not quite as strong, but probably okay. And then the Foam Fusion, again, really nice to work with, really clean lines. Okay, so it really broke far into the foam. Um, like we're a well over a quarter of an inch into the foam because again, it really welds the two pieces together. So again, foam fusion, hands down the winner to me. And then I did two long boards here. Um, this kind of replicated how we had to do like the countertop where you can't really clamp very well and what a mess it would have been if we would have ended up using Gorilla Glue, which was the original plan. So here you can see just how much this bubbles and I just held it down for a while, but there's no good place to clamp to. So that, totally a mess. Where the Foam Fusion, same thing, I was not able to clamp it, but I got a super duper tight, it just lays down beautifully like it had been clamped. So Foam Fusion saved our project. <laughs> it was a fantastic thing to find. It is just rock solid on there. Where this one, since it's sticking up, you know, you'd be able to get this off of here eventually. Not to mention it wouldn't be smooth. So anyway, this foam fusion stuff was a miracle. It is fantastic stuff. 
Um, it was inexpensive. We really only used about two of these for the entire trailer. So totally worth, worth buying. However, if you have to do with what you could get for a, some small foam project, the Gorilla Glue Clear actually did work quite well too. So Foam Fusion Clear winner, second place Gorilla Glue Clear, and I would never mess with wood glue or with regular Gorilla Glue on foam, unless it's an area where you could clamp it really tight. And well, frankly, if you're trying to clamp foam really tight, it just dents. So anyway, I hope that this is helpful and I hope that you have an awesome time making some really cool foamy trailers.